Alright, there will not be any crying in today's video. Um, you can see we have the blue right here. You can see the silver bullet is right here. However, one of these cars doesn't belong to us anymore. That's right, we have sold this car, and I don't know, it's kind of sudden, because like yesterday, the car was ours, and today, it's not ours. It's just a kind of a sudden turnaround. Um, sorry for the audio quality, it's different, I'm using a different camera this time. It's, uh, it's a 2008 Dodge Caravan. We've had this car since we lived in Texas. Yeah, we used to live in Texas. Uh, we lived in Waco, Texas, that's where we bought the car. It was one year old when we bought it. So we bought it in around 2009, 2010. We drove it all the way here. Um, we had this car for... Well, I don't even know how long we've had this car then. There's really nothing unusual or special about this car, but it's just all the memories that we've had in this car. It's a little bit sad to see it go, because uh, two or three years ago, this was actually the first car that I ever drove. If you look back in the history of Foss Brother Films, you can see we used this car during the Decades Project. But yeah, that was the first video I ever did on YouTube, um, and that was a school project. So if you want to go back and watch that, you can see that, that car, we've taken it to Montana, um, like two or three times. There's just so many memories from this car. And again, there's there's nothing special about this car. This It's like, there's no engine performance modifications, there's no, there's no like luxury interior. It's it's just a 2008 <laughs> Dodge Caravan. On that note, I think it's time for a couple drone shots. How about we get some drone shots on here? Drones are cool. Yeah, we'll do the drone. There's nothing too special about the interior. You can see there's a lot of wear going on here. These standard gauges. It's automatic. We've got the time. You can see that there. Key controls, they all still work. Nothing too special about the back either. I have to say though, I think that my favorite part of the interior is right over here. Look, you can see when I was like, oh, maybe 11, I wrote my name right there. And my dad, when he saw that, said, you can't do that because someday we're going to sell this car. And sure enough, we sold the car. Nevertheless, my name is still going to be up there. Uh, was, that was really stupid of me to do. And my dad was not happy with me that day. But um, I didn't seem to see a problem with it at the time, so I did it. Um, yeah, it's not the car itself. It's the memories that we've had in this car that um, make it so special. You know, it's not just the car, it's it's the people that have driven it and the places that we've gone and the adventures that we've had in it that just um, that just make it really, that make it special to us. Two, one, go. <laughs> so I'm sad to see it go, but we may yet move on to bigger and better things. I don't really know yet. It seems like my dad has a plan. I can't really tell what it is uh, yet. We will have to see. But whenever that car comes, I will make sure I will I will make a video about it. So stay tuned for that video to see what we have bought instead. Like it probably won't be a very remarkable car either. But I'll make a quick video just to say this is what's going on. You know, I'm trying to make these vlog style videos and I might as well make another one. Like I said, this car isn't going to go anywhere um, too far away. It's not moving out of state. It's staying right here in Pennsylvania. So I'll probably still see it around from time to time, but this may be the first and last time that you guys ever see the car on the channel. I'm trying to think of some interesting facts about this car, um, besides the fact that I wrote my name over there. Um, we bought this car because um, we needed a car that could fit more people. As you can see we got a lot of a lot more space than back there. My dad um, had a tourist show. You know, it's the highest trim of the show. Really cool car. He got, he got it from a family member, and we owned that car for a long time. And um, when we sold it, it had engine trouble. We had to sell it, and we bought this bad boy. And uh, we named it Silver Bullet because, you know, you have to 
have to name your stuff, make it yours. And it's been our family car for well over a decade now. Um, we've had other cars come and go in that time. My dad had a truck, he had a Dodge Dakota. Um, he sold that to buy uh, that car, uh, Big Blue. We call it Big Blue because, you know, big. It's, it's big and it's blue. But uh, that's really all I have to say about this car. As I said, it's kind of an unremarkable kind of thing. Hi guys. All right. That may be the very last we see of that car. We will have to see. So that's kind of sad. Goodbye, old friend. But hello, new friend. news there are two F-22 Raptors flying around. Wait. Oh! Oh, it went right there! Oh! Oh, is it going into the net? I don't know. 